I think um, there's something so special about the fact that like my biggest hit was like filmed on my phone on a app called Video Star, which I used when I was seven years old to like pretend I was a pop star. Honestly, it was from a very personal and vulnerable place that I wrote that song from. I was feeling completely torn down from social media and I think the toxicity of just like, you know, how people think women should be. I think no one likes to admit that people are jealous or that you get these feelings and I think it's like not talked about at all. Um, but I wanted people to feel less alone because that's how I was feeling that day after scrolling on TikTok and Instagram for hours and I was beat down and I think a lot of people look at me and think that I wouldn't feel insecurities because of how my highlight reel looks on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, I just wanted you know other girls to feel like they're not alone and that everyone should actually love themselves because everything looks greener on the other side. There's like a whole bunch of Easter eggs because uh, basically it like talks about a full dance audition, which is like one of the most toxic places ever to be on. You're basically just being judged by like three, three judges. And so we brought in um, three mentors on the show when I was like 12 and they were the actual judges in the music video, which was so cool. Um, and it was, it was so fun to be able to dance with all my friends and bring together a full like dance piece that was inspired by Chorus Line. It's really exciting, I think, because it's all coming from me. It's much more rewarding when you know, things have a great outcome because it's, it's really difficult to not try and you know, adhere to every single opinion that's around you. I mean, I'm getting told what to do every single second, um, and there's so many different opinions and telling me that I'm doing the wrong thing and I'm making the wrong decisions, and that's really stressful because I'm still figuring out who I am as a person, um, and so I don't know what I'm gonna do with my career. I'm, I'm just doing what I love, and I'm just writing what I, what I think and what goes through my brain, so it's, it's super validating when people are feeling the same things and you know, can relate and actually like really respect that I'm talking about such personal personal things. I'm a very private person. Uh, there's a huge part of my life that I feel like even some of, like a lot of my friends don't know about. Um, and I think that's the reason why I'm so open in my writing is because that's the only place that feels like I can be so open. And I feel safe for some reason. And I think it's because no one knows how I wrote it. You know, I think there's the final product and it's my perspective and it's, you know, I put the little bow on it and I finished it but no one knows every single thing that went into going into that song, which I think is all the scary parts. I'm scared. I think it's, I, obviously I'm so excited. I, you know, I'm so happy it's done and it's finished and I'm so proud of it. Uh, but it is terrifying because you just genuinely don't know what people want to hear. And it, it's, a lot of the songs are things that I've never, never put out before. There's a lot of different genres in there that I think people are gonna be shocked by. I think um, there's something so special about the fact that like my biggest hit was like filmed on my phone on a app called Video Star, which I used when I was seven years old to like pretend I was a pop star. Um, and you know, it's, it's really crazy because I feel like that's honestly what makes it so like relatable in a sense is Everyone was stuck in their homes for two years, and everyone had to make do with what was around them. Um, and that was something we literally whiffed out in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's so funny that, that video, I look back and I'm like, how does this have like 150 million views? When we first started talking, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna write a song, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, and then we actually hung out and we're like, oh my God, can we just do normal things? <laughs> um, and both of us, like every time we hang out, we just try to take our minds off of everything going on and just be normal kids for once. Um, but it's, it's, it's really fun. It's really nice to have, I have a really good group of friends in the industry who I feel like are kind of in the same position as I am and we all get each other and we're all really close and they're really real and authentic people and I'm very lucky for that. I mean, I just feel really lucky. I think I, I put so much time and effort into what I do and it's everything for me. I mean, my singing and my dancing is like who I am as a person. And I always say I have like an alter ego when I go on stage because that's like the only time that I'm like, oh wow, this is like who I am. Um, and so it's, it's very wild. I just feel very like eternally grateful that I can do both on stage and people appreciate it. And it Thanks for watching eTalk. Make sure you hit subscribe for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news. And while you're here, why not watch another video? I know you want to.